uh, functions being uh, first class objects so if you didn't watch that tutorial you might uh, consider going back and checking that tutorial since you're going to use uh, the lot a lot of the concepts in here okay so let's get to it so the last tutorial i told you a decorator is basically a callable object any python callable object that's taking a callable as an input and returns a callable as an output okay so in here let's create a function let's call it my underscore decorator so so this is going to take in a function let's call it a func func okay so uh, what is going to do is going to return to us just for the uh, for the definition of a uh, of, uh, of of a decorator so it's going to return to us a decorator right we are not going to call it it's just going to return to us the specific uh, func uh, function so it takes in a function as an input it returns a function as an output that's what basically a decorator is so let's create the input function right now let's just call it um uh, say underscore hello okay and this say hello function what it does is just going to uh it's just going to return it's going to return a string of a uh, hello okay hello so that's what you we need to do so now let's go ahead and actually uh see so this is our decorator and this is going to be the input function okay so a decorator takes in a, a a callable as an input and returns that callable okay that's what the basic fundamentals of a decorator is so now that you have done uh write this code if we run if you if i call actually uh we're not actually doing anything with the, the decorators you know uh, our decorator so now we need to actually decorate our uh this specific function okay so there are two ways that you can decorate a specific function the first way is uh, we can say say hello let's say say hello will be equals to will be uh, my underscore decorator which is the decorator and then we pass in uh, uh say hello okay uh, this uh, say underscore hello so now uh, this could be any name we can say maybe say hello uh, one okay so let's say call it hello one so that we differentiate the two so yeah we, uh, we are calling our decorator function which is going to take in a function an input function which will be just this hello a function and returns it well it returns it we are storing it in uh, say hello one so if you uh, we actually now uh, hello one so whenever you call this function say hello one what is actually going to do is going to uh, is going to uh, actually uh, run uh, this uh, function which has been passed in which in this case is uh, say hello so we need to actually print it's going to return to us a string so uh, let's bring go ahead and actually uh, print that on the screen so let's uh, run this and then we can see uh, what we get so we get hello okay so now you might be confused how this works looking at the cl uh, the code closely you can see it's very easy to understand because we have a function in as my decorator it takes in another function which is in this case hello which simply returns uh, say hello which simply returns as the string hello so we are calling that function and passing in that uh, say hello so it's going to return to us say hello so we are accepting say hello in hello say hello one and you are simply calling that uh, specific function so that is one way that you can um, call decorators okay but in most uh, uh, programs in python and uh, packages and libraries and frameworks we don't actually call uh, packages uh, like that so there's some another way this is the second way that you can actually uh, decorate a function so let me just remove that so like the second way i can decorate a function is just put the add symbol and then the name of uh, the decorator that i want to use in this case is uh, my underscore decorator so you just say the add symbol and then the name of the decorator that you want to use no spaces okay so add symbol no space and then the name of the decorator that you want to use so now that you have done that we can just simply call hello you can simply call this function and uh these are the, the same process that we have seen uh, of um of this function being called and say hello being passed into and then being returned will be done for us in the background so if by doing this uh, the same uh, function that uh, the same process that i explained earlier will still be done but uh, this will be handled for you by python okay so this is just a syntactic sugar of uh, doing the same thing so this is what uh, we actually use if you have ever worked with things like django uh, or flask you're, you're very familiar with this so that's what uh, the same way of doing uh, the same thing okay that's that i have explained earlier so now if i run this we should get the same output uh, we didn't actually get any output because i need to print this out on the screen so you can just say print uh sorry print and then i uh, close that in parentheses so if i run this again uh, we should get uh, hello uh, as an output okay you know we got hello so that's how uh, you uh, the basics of uh, 
decorator is how you can call a decorator uh, by using the two methods that I've uh, explained to you. So what is the difference, uh, the pros and cons of using uh, the two different methods? The benefit of using the first method that I've explained to you is that you can call the original uh, input function without actually um, uh, without actually the decorator affecting it because uh, we didn't actually look how to modify uh, uh, functions but uh, the the decorate input function but we'll look that we'll look at that in the next tutorial maybe the, from there you can be able to understand this concept more so the the disadvantage of use the advantage of using the at uh, syntax is that it's uh, it's first is a uh, simpler uh, it, uh, it does for you the things a lot of things in the background right you write less code but the disadvantage is that you can't call um, the input function which will be in this case our case this function without uh, actually having the modifications that the decorator does being applied to it so this uh, you, uh, will, you will understand it more in the next section but what you know want to, uh, I, you, you, I want to take away from here is that uh, if you want to be able to call the input method without uh, having any modifications or effects to it then use the first method that i have told you but if you just want to do a standard thing uh, uh, and you want the modifications to be applied to uh, the input functions from by, from by the decorator then use the add symbol okay so uh, most of time most of the time you'll be using the add simple okay so that's all i want to cover in this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll go over how to actually uh, modify uh, uh, at the input of made uh, function okay so guys thanks for watching please don't forget to like to share and to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this